Hi guys, I just filmed this video but it was super rushed at the end because my mum just wouldn't shut up and I thought she was calling me. So I'm refilming it again. This is my non-beauty favourites for, for the month of April. I keep going to say March. But yeah, there's only a few things here. So let's jump right into it. The first thing is nothing actually physical. It's the fact that I passed all my exams. Well, I got the results now but I didn't do I did my exams last term back in the beginning of March end of February so I but I didn't get the results till this week so yeah the first thing is I passed all my exams I'm really happy with it um, I'm coming first in my year in hospitality which I had better bloody be because I work in the hospitality industry and most of its common sense anyway but Yes, I passed all my exams. I am so happy with the results I got. I was so stressed out for my modern history exam and I ended up getting 60%, which for me, that is really good. So I'm really happy with that. The next thing is these Maximus Isotonic Sports Drinks. Now, not, ne not necessarily just, this is the yellow one, not necessarily just the Maximus ones. These are one liter, by the way. Um, but any isotonic sports drink in general. I feel really dehydrated, not all the time, but a lot. And um, I find when I'm at work, I get so bored of just drinking glasses of water or like for nine hours straight. So I will take one of these or... I had a double shift the other day at work, so I took two of these, like one for the morning, one for the night. Usually I only take a 600 mil, but sometimes two of these will do me. One of these will do two days. But... These are really good. It's just something that hydrates me, it gives me the extra hydration and fluids that I need. But it tastes good and it's not a fizzy drink or anything. So, yeah, this was the yellow one. It was a really like sweet lemon flavour. I did like it. My favourite is the blue one, but I the blue one sends me nuts. So I had the green one as well. I did like the green one over this, but I threw that I had to throw that in the bin because I dropped it. I didn't drop it, but the, 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 yeah, anyway. The next thing is this TRICARE Naturally Soft Foaming Hand Wash Antibacterial with li it's Lime and Mint Scent. This is a foaming hand wash from Aldi, and this is really good. We also have it in the berry scent, and it's not necessarily the scent that it is, it's the formula. My I prefer foaming soaps over anything else. They work the best for me. And my hands have never felt cleaner with that soap. It feels really good. Um, after I use the oil, the like the um, hydrating oil in my hair, my hands feel obviously oily because it's an oil. And that is the only one, only soap I have used that actually fully gets the oil off my hands. It feels really good. The next thing is this Colgate, Colgate Optic White Enamel White Toothpaste. This is my favourite toothpaste of all time. I love it. It's good. It's awesome. I can't use like regular Colgate toothpaste or most brands regular ones because they send my mouth really numb but one day I couldn't find my toothpaste at my dad's like it was somewhere my sister had shit everywhere and so I borrowed hers and she uses this and it didn't send my mouth numb and it was really good so I pay for this toothpaste just because it is expensive and my mum didn't want to be buying it but I think if it's good it and it works I like it and I find that yes I would prefer to pay more for toothpaste if it's good, if it works, and yeah. So I really like this. It's my favourite toothpaste I've used to date, and I have used a lot. The next thing is this selfie stick. It's only a little one. I got this for Christmas. It's by Audiosonic. Um, this is not an electronic one. I have to put the self-timer on my phone for it, but... I specifically wanted a smaller one for photos and things for like selfies, for my makeup, for my Facebook page, which is linked down below, so go follow that. Um, because I didn't want a huge long one because, you know, it was too far away. So I got a little one. I got this, my mum bought me this for Christmas and it's purple, which I like. And I can adjust, you know, the angle this is on. I can adjust the way this turns and things like that, but I've got it set. Um, to how I use it and this is really good it's like the perfect length for me to just you know hold up in front and take really good photos or good angled good angles for my um, photos and things like I really like this it's good it's sturdy it has a wrist strap 
and yeah it's not one of those cheapish ones that's going to fall apart after two uses the next thing is actually these power force furniture polish wipes for wood i use these on the on my furniture because it's wood except for my little um makeup stand thing here i use it on like my desk my bed frame my tall boy i use it on everything else um, and these work really well. I hate using furniture wipes like this on my furniture because it just they just don't work. They just distribute the dust everywhere that doesn't actually pick it up. But those ones actually genuinely work. They're really nice. They make my room smell nice and fresh and clean. And yeah. I have this huge fly in here. I've had it in here for about a week. I've sprayed it ten times and it will not die. It's like this big. No joke. Anyway, I like these. And the last thing is this book. It's Christopher Pike's The Party. And it's in the Final Friends series. Now, this is a really old book, in case you can't see. Um, this story was published in 1991, but they republished it. So this book was published in 1993. I know that because I actually chose this as my additional text for one of my English exams. And it made me realise how much I actually really like Christopher Pike. I got the, fir the third book in this series when I went to a secondhand bookshop when I was in year five. My mum bought me the book because I thought it was interesting. I read it and then I realised there was two more. So my mum bought me the other two and this, they're thinner books so I could sit down and read this in like a, two hours or so today. And they're just a good read but I really really like Christopher Pike as an author for his teenager books his older books i'm a little bit iffy about but his teenager like his books that are like aimed at teenagers are some of my favorites i have a lot of novels from him but this series in particular i keep going back to all the time and they're really good that's all my non-beauty favorites these videos are shorter than my makeup favorites i'm really sorry guys i am going to film my makeup favorites next because i filmed it last night and it was just really dark so Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!